Oh! I've got it on just now, actually, just... Just to... <clears throat> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Right, we've got a wee scramble down here, so I think I'll turf my poles. <laughs> Yo, nice shot, you got that, you got that bison. We are eating tonight. This is a wee bit, a wee spicy bit of the route. It's all right. It's okay, I just I think it looks worse than it actually. Isn't it? You're tired and fat. It's a bit difficult. <laughs> oh. Oh. I've got it on just now actually, just just to <clears throat> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Oh. Alright, that's the camera tumbling. Nice wee step there, look. There we go. Easy. Lots of wee deep crevasses disappearing into the, the darkness. Right, okay. Hopefully we're on the last few minutes of this. Bye. Right, we're kind of on the summit plateau now, so the next 10 minutes or so, hopefully we'll find a wee campsite, but the biggest thing I've need to find is water. I've had virtually nothing other than James, what James gave me, so. That's our water supply, the only water supply, there's nothing running, it would appear, so just standing water, but it looks quite deep, so it should be okay. And we'll maybe just camp somewhere over here, the summit is just up there, which we'll probably go up to after dinner. We'll just try and find a nice wee spot now and get camp set up. So that's uh, camp set up, 
looks pretty good. Um, I'll just go down and get some water at the uh, little locking down the hill and then we can get cooking. It is now 25 to 8 but nice and light. James down there getting his water. I'm just going to head down now in a couple of minutes. Just getting some quick shots before I head. So I'm in the Samaya Asot 2, Asot 2 and James is in his MSR Access 1 which he's had for years now and really is a bit of a go-to. Great wee all-rounder all season. Quite warm this water, it looks quite inviting. Looks to be a few beasties about there, possibly midges, or clegs or something. Shots of the dying sunset. <laughs> so it's got pretty cold and windy as you can probably see. And James is away up on the summit. I'm just gonna have a wee pudding and some chalky. And I'll probably do the same. But there's a nice sunset on the camera. I don't think it looks as red as it is to us. But it's still pretty pleasant. It's a good stiff wind blowing. Quite a steady, pretty hefty wind. Well, strong breeze. And the tent's getting buffeted about a wee bit, but it's relatively quiet, slightly drummy, which I've noticed with this kind of fabric before actually. It doesn't rustle or, um, how do you describe it? It's still nylon. It's slightly more just drums in the wind. So you get a kind of low rumbling noise. But yeah, it seems solid enough. It's absolutely fine. Heading up for the summit before it gets dark, and we'll get a wee look down the Clyde as the, the last of the light starts to die and the, the sun is going. And there's our tents just on the plateau there. Got a moment in the background, the brack, I think, over there. Windy and cold out there, so we've both retired to the tent. Um, just take it easy for a while until it's dark, and then I'll probably head out and try and get some photographs before I go to bed tonight. And I'm just changing into some dry socks and stuff. Probably get an impression of just how breezy it is outside. Quite windy, but that's a good wee test of this. Just to see, I don't see much flexing on the poles, it's just the panels themselves, sort of drumming around. I do like the gear loft, it's handy. I find that quite useful. Right, the dragonfly is coming from the moss itself and starting to lay eggs within the actual uh, dishes. I've sealed it up completely just to try and create more moisture in here, because you can maybe see the condensation of my breath going past the camera. But uh, yeah, so far it's all condensation free, I don't feel anything. Um, the advanced pro in conditions like this, you'd have clamminess starting to appear and some moisture begin to appear at the top of the fly sheet. Um, but yeah, you don't feel anything damp at the moment on the, on the event. I 
Right, it's about half ten, quarter to eleven, so I am off to my bed. James is snoring like a banshee about 30 feet away from me. Um, but the wind is drowning out some of that. So let's see plugs in and hopefully we'll get a good night's sleep. And I'll speak to you in the morning. So in terms of condensation this morning, there's a slight, slight skim of it above my head. Uh, other than that, quite dry. Seems okay. So yeah, not too bad, but obviously we had a dry night if misty um, and quite high winds. So it's not a brilliant test, but yeah, perfectly livable and no dripping, nothing damp. Seems to be okay. eight o'clock and we're gonna head so as always leave no trace uh, still a bit foggy a bit cold but we're heading off so again thanks for watching and uh, any questions about the tent drop them below but a good night in it and all seem to work so it's not a bad bit of kit see you soon <laughs>